the wheel uh, channel of YouTube in which we are discuss about the part of an automobile. So today we are going to discuss about the air conditioning system of an automobile. The air conditioning system through which the passenger compartments are cooled. Generally we use the system in the summer seasons to reduce the temperature of an inside the car as compared to the outside of the car. So did you think about it guys? The how the air how the air conditioning system works? How the temperature is reduces from the atmosphere in the summer season. So today we are going to discuss about that system, how the temperature is cools than the atmosphere. So the air conditioning system. The air conditioning system basically consists of first as a compressor, second is a condenser, third is a dryer, and fourth is an expansion mode, and fifth is an evaporator. The air conditioning system is uh, basically consists of the four parts: compressor, condenser, expansion mode, and evaporator. But nowadays the dryer is also used to increase the efficiency. So, it is the front of the car and this one is the rear of the car. This a passenger compartment and front of the car. So, basically an refrigerant is used for the cooling. So, this is the first one. First component is a compressor. As we all know, the compressor Compress the compress any kind of the material and uh, increase the pressure and temperature of the material. So here we use the refrigerant. Uh, the refrigerant is pressurized in the compression and also increase the temperature. Then the then the refrigerant is goes to the condenser and the condenser. Phase change takes place. You can have a look in the front of the car, in front of the every car, the condenser is situated in front of the radiator, means in front of the car for the perfect cooling. Behind this condenser, a fan is also used to suck the high amount of the air from the atmosphere uh, for proper cooling. Nowadays, we are using the Bistonic fan drive. For the cooling, uh, we will discuss further on that. So, uh, in the condenser, high pressure and temperature of the refrigerant is comes in the condenser, and here the phase change takes place as high pressure and temperature of the vapor is, uh, is condensed and the change is made into the liquid. Thus, high pressure and temperature of liquid is formed. Then, this high pressure and Temperature liquid goes to the third jam, third portion, and third portion is the dryer. Nowadays, its dryer is used for for drying that liquid to increase the efficiency of air conditioning system. So after the dryer, actually the dryer is also a container of a refrigerant. As per the requirement, the refrigerant goes and the refrigerant released from the dryer or container then it goes to the expansion wall. The expansion wall as the name suggests it expand the refrigerant, a liquid refrigerant. And as you all know when the when a liquid is expand means just like a spray uh, then it cools down. If you take an example of a shark, you can look there. If you take a shark, then uh, uh, the water is sprayed out, and uh, you feel that uh, very cool water. Likewise, uh, here we use the expansion wall. It is uh, in a, through expansion wall. We spray the we spray the refrigeration. We spray the refrigerant, and uh, the temperature cools down, and then it goes to the evaporator. 
evaporator is a device which is used to absorb the heat of the passenger compartment. Now the cool refrigerant it enters into the evaporator. An evaporator also the phase change takes place. When the spool uh, refrigerant is entered into the expansion chamber, it absorbs the heat from the com uh, passenger compartment and changes the phase from the liquid to the vapor. Actually, here the heat is absorbed. Heat gaining process is done in the evaporator and phase change from the liquid to the vapor. And now from the now from the evaporator, the refrigerant is goes to the this vapor refrigerant. Low pressure, low temperature of the vapor refrigerant is goes to the compressor. Because we have to increase the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant to move in the cycle. Again in the compressor. The uh, low pressure and temperature of the refrigerant get compressed and uh, increase its pressure and temperature and then goes to the condenser where the heat is rejected. In the atmosphere, when the condenser heat is rejected, the atmosphere with the help of a fan and then yeah, again, this, uh, com uh, this refrigerant, which is uh, a liquid refrigerant, uh, converted into the condenser, then it goes to the dryer, then the expansion core, then the operator, and this process is runs. So, guys, nowadays, uh, in most of the cars, we use the refrigerant, which is the R134A. It is a refrigerant which is mostly used in the cars. There is a lots of refrigerant, but this one is a very comfortable for the air conditioning system. So this is the air conditioning system through which we cool down the temperature of the passenger compartment as compared to the atmosphere in the summer. So thanks for watching guys, our channel RJ Automobile. If you like this video, please subscribe and share with your friends. And thumbs up.